I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. Now today I'm starting out in a swamp, and you may think that's a little bit funky and a little weird, but I promise you, this is going to be fantastic. So I need to actually be in this swamp, and this is a very particular swamp that I had marked on the map a little while ago because I had seen this structure and I knew exactly what this thing was. Oh, this is so nice. And this whole swamp is very nice. Oh, oh, except I have trouble. I am in trouble. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's kill these guys real quick. But that hut is going to be really nice. Oh, there's there's the mama. Anyways, uh, this whole area, this whole area contains a lot of different plants that I've technically gathered. Um, so, such as this right here, this is a mandrake plant. But if you find a swamp, definitely mark it, especially if it looks like this. If it looks like the uh, the other ones where there's no leaves on the trees, well, then you probably found the wrong one. But all of these little plants, like this one, this yellow dock dash, this, is, this can be harvested, but you can also break and take the plant with you so you can harvest it yourself later on. Um, so I have harvested a bunch of these. Ah! Oh God, he just come out of nowhere. Oh my God, there's a giant snake in the swamp. Are you friendly snack? Are you a boop noodle? I don't know if that's friendly snack. He looks, he looks friendly. Anyways, this dock over here, this is what I am interested in and what we need to take a look at. So journeying into this building, there's tons of drying racks and things like that. Um, some mushrooms, all kinds of cool little goodies. Oh, apparently a witch. You know, oddly enough, I need to kill a witch. And I need to gather its hat. Um, so I eventually will need to find a bunch of witches. A bunch bunch of witches. Yeah, that, that's, that's appropriate words. Now this place is perfect. It has a mixing cauldron. Everything I'm going to need from Hexerai. Now, fair warning getting into Hexerai. There is a book in here, in this particular version, in this mod pack. And fair warning, I've heard people saying that it will crash your game opening up the Hexerai book um, in, in, in this particular version in this pack. So I'm going to forego doing that, um, even though it is a fantastic looking book, it is quite an epic uh, thing. It is, it is a sight to see. Now, don't be tempted to do it because you'll probably break things. The problem is, is that book's kind of important as it teaches you how to do most of the things from Hexerai. However, I do have several videos in the past, if you just search Chosen Architect and Hexerai, where I have covered a, tons, a ton of things in this mod. Now, the thing we're after is going to be a broomstick. That's right, I want to get after some flight. So, there's a couple of things I need to do. And first is make an easy way to travel back and forth to this building. Now, currently it costs XP to get here. So I want to change up how we actually do this. I still want to use waystones, but I don't want it to cost experience. And there is a way to do that. Now, that way of traveling involves using these particular way, uh, warp plates. Um, I also believe that the uh, share stones, these also might work, um, but I'm definitely familiar with warp plates. And warp plates are really cool. They can do some pretty cool things. First of all, we're gonna need warp dust and we're gonna end up making two warp plates, right? They require flint, and flint's a pretty important part of this. So if I make a couple of these plates, and I place them down, they are going to generate their own little piece of flint to here, a tuned shard. And now this attuned shard is linked to this plate. You can see the top right matches what's on the, on the description. And same for this one. And the thing is, is if we put this one that we just generated from this in here, and this one inside here. When we step on it, we will now teleport to that warp plate. But not just us. Also, items, right? Entities, any entity will end up being transferred over here. And I've used this for, uh, I mean, countless times to make mob farms, transferring mobs from one location to another. One particular location that might be really useful is for getting mobs into the mob pens. This could be a game changer and could easily set this up and do it. All you'd have to do is place down your warp plate uh, in, in an area and then have the, the crate that you place down and spawn the mob and then just break the crate and it'll fall down on the warp plate and get sent to a location. This is a pretty easy way of doing that. And I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, what's a better way of getting mobs over here to the Drigme farm? And this would be one of the ways. 
Now, if you ever end up losing this attuned shard or even cooler, um, if we go ahead and make some more warp dust, or if you want to have like, let's say a three by three area that links to one plate and all nine of them link to the same plate, well, you can do that. Uh, all you have to do is put a piece of flint in here to the target plate that you want it to be linked to to create duplicates of the these shards. And all you have to do is place the flint in and surround it with this dust and it will generate a new shard. And so you could technically use this to have a bunch of plates that link to one location. So this is a pretty neat way to sort of extend my base. So um, I do have this shard. It did just generate another shard apparently. I guess breaking it and placing it can regenerate a new shard. It's not supposed to, but I guess it does. Um, but if I link that, right, that should teleport me to this one. Now I want to put this one right here that has the appropriate shard. It has the red one, which both of them seem oddly different. Uh, it looks like this one is going to be the one we're going to have to have linked. But we should be able to travel back. Uh, using our waystone, travel back to the waystone I just placed down, place this plate down, and I should be able to travel back and forth without the cost of experience. Ah, uh, yeah, because that experience cost really gets old after a while. Three experience every time? Yeah, that's not a fun gig. So let's go ahead and get this placed in. There we go. And it's generating a new one for some reason, even though it shouldn't be new. And then one of these works. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. And now we can go back and forth and notice it doesn't cost anything. Oh, so now I'm going to have to travel back. Oh, because breaking it for some reason re-interrupts the link. That's not good. Okay, so that means this one now needs the new shard that I just generated, apparently. Very weird. Very, very weird. Um, because it works differently. <laughs> Maybe it's just particularly this version, but it normally would work differently. For some reason, that allows the link, but we do have to get this to link back. And it says, shard inside warp plate has lost attunement. Okay, this is the red one. We need the yellow. Is it this one? It's one of these. There we go. So now we have linkage back and forth. That gets really confusing, but I think it's just Maybe an error, an issue with the war plates. Now that I have safe passage going back and forth, ah, we can get to started. We can get started with Hexerai. And a lot of stuff is going to take place inside this mixing cauldron. So the thing I'm wanting to make is this mahogany broom. This requires netherite. It is fire resistant, which is going to be perfect for flying around in the nether, as you can see. And uh, it's good for traveling and exploring. And we should be able to even tip it even further to make it even more resistive and have more durability. Um, now, this comes with a default broom brush, but we have to get to this point. As you can see, it requires a couple of liquids, water and blood. Well, we have to get blood, and that's going to require its own steps. So, let's take a dive into that. Now, to get blood, you have to use the blood sigil. So, this will be one of the starting points. We're going to need redstone and some polished blackstone and a little bit of lava. So, I'm pretty sure this requires a heat source underneath it, so I am going to do that and place a heat source underneath. And so, now I need to place some lava in here. Oh, not that way. Oh, uh, you don't know how to use the mixing cauldron. Wait a minute. There's a requirement on the mixing cauldron? That definitely put a damper on things. Now, I think though, I'm going to be unlocking that soon. That does come from the cleric and I do have a quest open with the cleric. It just involves killing a bunch of witches, in which I have no idea how to find witches. Do you? I, I'm gonna have to figure this one out. So it says right here, I need your help retrieving a witch hat. Anyone would do, which is seldom drop it. Now, I don't know if it's referring to this witch hat from the biome makeover or the witch's hat which requires infused fabric, which we can't do because of the mixing cauldron. Now, this has got me thinking, what are a few ways that I can get witches to sort of spawn that I know where they come from? And that's through monster boxes. Now, monster boxes are from Quark, such as these red things right here. Um, these are going to be pretty important to me as uh, hopefully we can get the draw from them because usually 
usually, not all, not every time, but there's a high chance that they will spawn a witch. Um, now they do have different loot pools, so I hope that doesn't affect things too much. But let's go over here and let's see if we can't potentially use our bone splitter on this and try our best to get as high of looting as possible on this thing. Oh, yeah, as you can see right there. And I insta die. Yeah, that was a bad idea. So yeah, I think I better come at this a little bit differently. Um, there's another one over here, thankfully. I think with this one, I'm just going to get it to spawn and back away. Okay, I don't see a witch on this particular one. Oh, which is super unfortunate. But yeah, these guys hit a lot harder. I think it's maybe because we're in hard mode that they do deal a little bit more damage. I felt like we just insta-died though, which feels kind of odd. Whoa! Oh god! A silver fish explosion. These are nightmares. Nightmare fuel right here. Oh! Is that it? There's one right there too. Oh my gosh. Getting a, a spawn egg for a witch would be really cool. That would be pretty neat. And another monster box. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Aha, uh -huh. that one definitely has a witch. Let's see if we can't get around without getting splashed with a poison. Or a potion of insta-harming, which is probably what hit me last time. Ouch. Poison is the worst. The worst. Okay. Thankfully, our regeneration is keeping up. All right, so let's try this. And that was with looting, and we ended up getting just a music disc. Hmm. No! Something happened! What in the world? No! My skeletons and creepers just randomly blew up. And so does my blaze. What is even going on? Look, it just... Why? I literally just turned the corner and this whole thing exploded. And now I have a fire on my hands. Don't, don't. Ah. Oh. See, mod packs like this. This is why I... Blah, 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 blah. This is me getting frustrated. Doesn't happen very often. But th why? But why? Th that's so frustrating. This is why in packs like this, I don't tend to build anything because it feels like you're just being punished for building. It just gets destroyed. That's... That's why. Well, I don't even understand. It's like a creeper exploded, but there's no creepers. Like, I had a creeper in a cage, caged off from everything. I, I still have no idea. I mean, and this was a rather large explosion, too, because it blew up this whole area here. Wow. Yep, after that, it is definitely time for a mob farm. I'm going to try and build a sky mob farm. However, I am a little concerned about how exactly this mob farm is going to work. Um, and, and do I have to worry about explosions and also the type of mob spawning in there? It's going to be something I'm going to probably regret doing, but I'm going to at least try. Now I am 128 blocks up in the air and uh, well, this is where this is going to be. Thank goodness for warp stones. That's going to make this a lot easier. However, I do as of right now want to just get water placed in and let the water go down. This is going to be the start of our mob farm, and it is going to go a few blocks higher than this, but I need it to be this high. That way I isolate myself, and thankfully the uh, this, the actual height of this farm doesn't matter now. Um, you can build this farm as high as you want, well, so long as you don't go to block height, and uh, you don't have to worry about spawn rates being decreased. It's actually kind of nice. Oh boy, this, this might make, oh, this a little hard to handle. Oh, shoot. No! I want to stay up here. This might make the mob farm a little bit more difficult, is dealing with these cloud guys. Oh, jeez. So I am slowly but surely getting this farm built, and if you're wanting to know the exact specifics of this farm, basically you have a platform, you place blocks where your hoppers would be, and then the platform above that needs to be up. I did 21 blocks, you can do 22, I think, uh, from this platform here. 
And then you just build out eight so that way the water pushes the mobs. That is going to be probably the best bet. Um, now, later on, if we have trouble with how these guys are falling down, what we can do is we can have them fall onto the plates, the waystone plates, and be teleported somewhere else. Uh, but we do need to still be around this farm. This is a farm where you have to sort of stand there for it to work. The big part of this farm that I'm actually scared about is, well, just the bottom platform exploding. Um, I don't know. Based on the way that those mobs just operated, kind of scared me with building farms like this, almost as if it's just not intended. I, I have no idea. This pack doesn't really tell you much. Well, essentially, this is the whole essence of this farm. So what I'm going to need to do is place some trapdoors along the edge. Mobs don't really see trapdoors very well. They just fall in and wander into the water. And we need to also need to prevent, um, we need to prevent spiders from spawning. So for this, I'm going to place the oak slabs every skipping every two blocks. And so you'll end up getting a pattern that just looks like so. And that prevents spiders from spawning. So I'm just now finishing up the top part and you can see right here I have my second layer in and then my trap doors are lining that section. And so when I close this all off, we should have this all basically covered up and we should not run into any problems hopefully with this, eh, hopefully. So I just got some obsidian placed in just to be safe and on the bottom floor to hopefully prevent some explosions if they do happen. But I should be able to now mine out an area. Oh, okay. So there is explosions. Okay. So I'm hoping I can get all of this mined out. And I should be able to kill these guys. Even if that involves... Oh. Okay, so yeah. Things can still hit me, it looks like. Even getting through this tiny space. I have no idea what... Oh! Wow. The creepers still ex explode. And that means baby mobs can get through. And I don't think there's any obsidian slabs. Oh, quit. This might have been a bad idea. Honestly, I have no idea. This seems like it's a bad idea. See, that creeper didn't explode. I'm going to have to figure this out. I mean, it does look like I can farm a lot of stuff from here. Well, I definitely got to get this blocked up. Oh, my God. So believe it or not, there is actually obsidian slabs. Um, that hopefully will sustain this area. I'm so glad I decided to put obsidian on the bottom because that would have just, the whole thing would have just exploded. I think this is going to work. I can now one shot this without being in the attack mode. Most of the things can be killed because they're taking fall damage, right? Oh, this is going to be so useful. And we should get the effects of like capturing and stuff. Creepers are the only thing that concern me here. And I also need a way of picking up the items. I think I do have a magnet ability sort of that I could potentially use that's a part of ours. But things like creeper spores are dropping. We're getting blood vials. And it looks like enchanted mobs also spawn. And we even get the balloons that happen to spawn up here. And they drop this. Huh. Now, if you hear... Yep, there's some stuff that spawned in there. I did go ahead and set this to be able to hopefully pick up items. It doesn't seem like it's working. There's these guys. Uh, to get them to pull in, I've just got to stand underneath here to pick up some of the items. Once we get the, the our book upgraded, which we should be able to do very soon. Oh, wow, that has melding. Okay, yeah, th this is a really nice farm. Now, all I honestly am hoping for is just some witches to spawn. I, yeah, what an item to have required for the cleric, something that's incredibly RNG based. So I did manage to get, it seems like some of the witches to spawn. Let's hope a creeper doesn't pop down and blow up. Would be kind of important. Some of these guys are incredibly powerful. Holy smokes. 
infested. Zombies dead. Oh no. These guys are so so much of a pain. Oh my goodness. Yeah, witches I think are gonna be incredibly difficult to kill. As you can see right there. I just need a witch's hat. That's all I need. Just a witch's hat. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. I think I got it. Oh, okay. Enough of that for a while. Uh, let's see if we can turn this in. Oh, my goodness. Now, I know you guys can't see it, but nine nerves are shot. For whatever reason, whatever reason, I, some of this stuff just makes me incredibly nervous because I'm like... I just spent all that time doing this, and then it just breaks. Was that it? You fool! Now let's bring doom upon this village. I'll take glory and sacrificing it means this village to its end. Wait! No! What did I do? Why am I being punished? No, 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 no. What? You! Oh, thank God it's daytime. But wait, it's a witch raid. So, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Why? No. What does that even mean? Now I have to go through this witch raid? What a freaking lunatic. Why? There's literally witches everywhere. What? Okay, I think that's over, but that's an evil cleric. You're evil, my man. What? Rain poison on us. What even? It Rain poison on us. Wait, there's more. There's more witches. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think there's like one more witch. Yes, and it's right here. Oh, is there another phase of this? Or is that it? <laughs> what did I get myself into? I need my dispel spell. Phew. All right, we've got to talk to this villager. I have no idea what this guy... Rain poison on... Is he just broken now? You know, all along, I think this cleric has been posing as a witch. And you know what that means? That means, well... It's time for you to go. Well, sort of. You need to go over here. And then, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be a shame if you just, uh, happened to light on fire? I just, I mean, it's, who did that? I mean, really? I have no idea who did that. Who would, who would light, who would light you on fire? No. Certainly not me. Hmm. Well, let's take this. And let's see if we can't find a new friend. Someone who might actually appreciate being a cleric. Hmm. How about, how about you, sir? Would you want to be a cleric? I have no idea. A lot of weird noises happening. How about you step away and just let the magic happen. Become a cleric. All right. Well, you've got to you got to move out of the way. Gotta move out of the way for a moment. Come here. Come here. Come come on. You got to move. All right. Well, this guy's not moving. Maybe I can get him in there. And become a cleric. You probably have to wait till the next day though. And no quests. Huh? How do I manage to just do? I guess I just had to deal with the RNG of this. My goodness. Yeah, this has to be one of the most confusing villager systems I have ever used in a mod pack. I will vouch for that. I wonder if like with some of these guys, like this one is a butcher. I wonder if I'm able to just like go to a random village and try to convert random villagers uh, by placing down, placing down some brewing stands. Like for example, like what if I just go into like these buildings like this? and just randomly start placing down stuff. I have no idea. I don't, I honestly don't know what I'm getting myself into right now, but like, 
Could it prompt a quest? All right, well, that didn't prompt a quest. So, like, let's say I, I keep going and I go to the next one. And I try to convert this guy to a cleric. This probably is a bad idea. Ah, this guy has a quest. Hello, adventurer. Can you bring me five zombie flesh? I need to prepare potions. Oh, yes, I guess that is the way to do it. All right, well, I'm heading to go get zombie flesh unless I already have some. Oh my gosh, I have some. What did it say? What, what did it say? Was it rotten zombie flesh? Rotten flesh? I need five rotten flesh. <sighs> That's complete. Great job. Here you go. And we got faction reputation, but that's not what I need. I don't need village reputation. Ooh, I got another one and it says, bring me five blaze rods from the nether dimension. Sure. Those I don't have on me, but I do have blaze rods right back at the base. So let me head back. I have your blaze rods. Fine, sir. Please grant me permission. Please don't be a faction quest. It's really hard to tell anymore. And complete. Well done. This makes... Oh my gosh. Did we just get a trading scroll though? Okay. Materials. Village. Sparingly. Ooh. Okay. So we've unlocked the cleric, but... I mean, that's important, I think. We still need to sign this. But that still doesn't solve my problem. I apparently need to commune with the... Complete a quest for the... You know what? This whole time, this whole time, look at this. this <laughs> Hexerite cauldrons require knowledge level two. This can be attained through a cleric villager quest. However, those who are having trouble finding this quest or who have failed to complete it can instead purchase the knowledge here for a pro. You're telling me I built an entire farm just for some emeralds, diamonds, and a couple of golden apples? I, I am, I am a little a little bit, uh, yeah, befuddled right now. I think a little bit of me has sort of left my soul at this point. I cannot believe that. Like, I have plenty of emeralds for this particular quest. And I have enough golden apples as well. And you don't even have to turn them in. You just... Wow. Well, you know, at least we got it completed. And now... We can craft ourselves a broom. But that, my friends, is going to have to wait till next episode because today we are all out of time. Guys, my goodness, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give that video a huge whoosh, thumbs up if you would. I would really appreciate that. And of course, guys, it is now time to thank the sponsor of today's video, or I should say supporter. And that huge thanks is going to go out to... Kenny Biscuits, thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on YouTube, becoming a YouTube member and supporting me that way. I do appreciate it, guys. And of course, if you're interested in getting all kinds of perks, be sure to check out the Discord, discord.gg forward slash cho chosen architect. And uh, there you can find an FAQ that is listed and has all kinds of useful information there. Not only is it a great resource for learning more about modded Minecraft, it is a great place to get some tremendous perks, such as supporter servers, and many other benefits. So, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out in today's episode, and I hope you enjoyed. Eh, even though I had some frustrations today, I still had a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one, and as always, thanks for watching. Man, it'll it'll just never be the same without Cooper and Kit over here. Yeah, they'll be missed. And they even killed the horse! No! <laughs> no!